Now are you going to be all right? You didn't sleep at all last night. I'm sure they've a replacement planned, if all day you don't want to stand. For all these years you've done your best, so come on, Dad, give it a rest. The old man straightened up his tie, medals glinting in his eye. I get this every year, you know, just past my coat, it's time to go. He combed his thinning silver hair, collar turned against chilling air, out into the autumn breeze, watery sun and leafless trees. His daughter helped him cross the road, clutching tight his precious load, a short walk to his usual place, the morning shoppers there to face. I don't know why you do it, Dad. At your age, you must be mad. Now listen, love, it's no big deal. Just to understand the way I feel. Duty to old friends, that's why. Won't change my mind, don't even try. Around his neck, a cardboard tray. Crimson petals on display. And steadily his wares are sold and proudly worn there in the cold by customers of every age, some reflecting history's page, others touched by conflicts new, desert storm or Falkland's crew. Thank you. What more can I say? The collecting tin begins to weigh, but now and then his thoughts drift back to one grey morning's dawn attack and memories of some foreign place, of trembling hands and frightened face, sweating brow and numbed with fear, still yet to see his twentieth year. A barrage tore the sullen sky, screamed o'erhead with banshee cry. Orders barked, then hell broke free. Tracer's scything hedge and tree, and all around his comrades fell, young men cut down by blade and shell. Cross bloodied grass crawled khaki boys amidst the blur of fire and noise. The reaper smiled and clenched his fist, life's candles snuffed out in the mist. Live or die, a frantic dash, blast, concussion, blinding flash. Okay. Words broke the spell. Come on home. You don't look well. She took his shaking arm with pride, emotion welling from inside. He looked down at his empty tray. Suppose you're right. It was a long day. <laughs>